What's up you guys, Cody Steck here, back with another video on our most frequently asked questions that I get from people who are relocating here to the Salt Lake City area. So this is episode number two. We're gonna be covering a couple of questions that people have when they're moving here to the area, and I hope I can break it all down for you. If you have questions about what it's like to live here, drop it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. Let's jump in. So another question that we get asked all the time is, hey, I was looking at the population of Salt Lake and it said that it was only about 200,000 people. Why is it so small? I thought it was much bigger than that. And to be honest with you, the actual Salt Lake City downtown metro area is only about 200,000 people. Most of the people here in the area don't live in Salt Lake City proper. The unique thing about Salt Lake City is that it's very spread out. We have a ton of suburban sprawl, which can be good, can be bad, but we're very spread out here. We don't really have a lot of high rise, high density living. We do have it, but it's not as common as you'll find in other cities. So Salt Lake County is gonna be your main hub for the Salt Lake Metro. You can get from one side of the county to the other in about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the situation, depending on where you start and what roads you take, as well as traffic, of course. But the population here is about 1.15 million, and that's where most of the residents here in Salt Lake City are living. Now, if you're looking at the entire Wasatch Front, which covers multiple counties, you're looking at a population of over 2 million people. This covers counties like Weber County, Davis County, Salt Lake County, and Utah County. And a super cool fact, this is actually 85% of our state population right here in the Wasatch Front. All right, so number two on our list, what if I want small town living? What if I wanna live on a farm or I wanna have horses or even just have a, you know enough space for a big garden or something like that? You can find properties like this. You can find horse property here in Salt Lake County, but you're gonna pay a little bit more for it. If you want small town living, you wanna live in a town of smaller population, but you still wanna work in the city just because that's where the jobs are at, you can do it, but you're gonna have a little bit of a commute. I'd say plan on about 45 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes of a commute depending on where you live. Places to look at if you're thinking about this type of living, definitely look at Tooele County. It's growing, it's just west of Salt Lake County and you can still get into the Salt Lake area for work if that's where you're working. I'd also consider looking at places like Eden, Huntsville, Morgan, Camas. These are gonna be smaller towns east of the Wasatch Mountains and you can still find great country living. You can get the land that you want and it can be a little bit cheaper than what you're looking to spend in other areas. Now, if you do some looking, and I know somebody's gonna comment about this and say, yeah, right, Eden's the most expensive city there is, or Camas is still really expensive. Yes, they are expensive. There are really big homes there. There are homes that sell for a lot there, but you definitely can find something that's reasonably priced and still get some space and have that small town country feel in these areas without having to get too far outside of Salt Lake City or the surrounding Wasatch Front area. Real quick guys, if you're thinking about making a move here, make sure to get in touch with me. I have a lot of people who watch these videos who are considering moving here and they reach out to me and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about doing that, make sure to call me, text me, email me, just get a hold of me any way that you need to. My information is here on the screen and it will be in the description box below. I'd love to hear from you so we can talk about the lifestyle and the type of home that will best fit your needs. I look forward to chatting with you. All right, so number three, this is a question that I do get asked quite a bit because we get a lot of people who wanna live in Park City or Kimball Junction and they still wanna live downtown. So can you live in these cities like Park City, Kimball Junction, Summit Park, and still work downtown? You bet you can. It's, depending on where you're going and the weather, you can expect that you'll have about a 30 to 60 minute drive down into Salt Lake City. So it's really not too bad. If you're living in Park City or Kimball Junction, you get all of the amazing amenities, like a little bit cooler weather in the summer, you get the skiing, you get the mountain biking, the hiking, everything you want is right there in town, and you even get a little bit of a smaller town feel living in these areas. Now it is gonna be more expensive, but if you wanna make that trade, you wanna have easy access, to all of those outdoor activities, then this is something that you should highly consider. If you guys are enjoying the content that you're seeing here on the video, please consider smashing that thumbs up button here on the video. I'd really appreciate it. So the next one on our list that I get asked all the time is where should I go if I wanna get on the water? We've talked about all of the outdoor activities that you can do here, but a major one that doesn't get mentioned very often is boating, kayaking, canoeing, fishing. There's tons of water activities that people like to do here. And I wanna give you the best spots to go here in the state. So hands down, without a doubt, Lake Powell is probably the best lake here in the state. Now this is down in the southern part of the state and actually part of the lake is in Arizona. So it's right on the Utah-Arizona border. And to get there from Salt Lake City, you're looking at about a four and a half to six hour drive, depending on how fast you go and depending on which dock and marina you go to. 
Lake Powell is absolutely beautiful and I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to grow up on this lake, exploring all of the canyons that are there and just having a great time boating every summer. The next two places that you should consider is Bear Lake and Flaming Gorge Reservoir. Flaming Gorge is up in the northeast part of the state and Bear Lake is going to be at the very north part of Utah. So you'll find that Bear Lake is on the Utah and Idaho sides. The water and air temperature can be a little bit colder in these areas just because of the location in the state compared to Lake Powell, but there's still a lot of sightseeing and tons of different boating and fishing activities to do in Flaming Gorge and Bear Lake. Surprise, surprise, if you haven't already figured out, the Great Salt Lake is really not somewhere that you want to go. The Great Salt Lake is kind of just a lake. It's salty, it's there, it's dirty, but there's really not much happening there on the lake. Nobody really goes there to do any of these outdoor activities. It's just kind of there and it provides a resource for us here in Salt Lake City. So the Great Salt Lake is not going to be on this list, unfortunately. Now let's say that you just want to get out, you want to do some quick boating, you want to do some quick fishing or something like that. Luckily, you've got access to tons of different little reservoirs and lakes within about a one to two hour drive of Salt Lake City or any of the surrounding areas. You've got access to lakes like Deer Creek, Jordanelle, Echo, Rockport, Strawberry Reservoir. These are all awesome places that are within a pretty close distance to Salt Lake and the surrounding areas. And they're a great option if you just wanna get out for a couple of hours, do some boating, do some tubing or some skiing, or even go fishing. Definitely check out those lakes. And when you're thinking about moving here, make sure to get in touch with me. My information's here on the screen. I'd love to chat with you about your move. I love it when people reach out. So if you are thinking about moving, call me, text me, email me, just get a hold of me any way that you need to. If you liked this content and you wanna learn more about what it's like to live here in Salt Lake City, then definitely subscribe to the channel by clicking that button down below and click that bell so you get notified when those videos are released. Follow me on Instagram at Utah Real Estate underscore and until next time.